today our logical fallacy is argument to the purse. And I, just, I like this one because I, I like using the term purse. It's kind of a, a fun, old-fashioned way of saying a person's wealthy or poor. You know, what's the size of the guy's purse? This is where you either give the person credit or detract from their uh, position based on the amount of money they have, based on the size of their purse. So one might say, hey, that guy over there, Bill Gates, who wants to depopulate the earth from over 7 billion down to 500 million, said that governments should force people to stick a substance into their body. Therefore, since he's rich, he must have the best interests of people at heart, and therefore we should all take the jab. That would be argument to the purse, because Bill Gates is wealthy. Or, another way of doing this might be if someone said, well, this person is poor, and just because they claim that drinking water is a good idea, is good for your health, eh, I don't know, look at the guy, he's really poor, can't trust him, he's probably wrong. Well, that has nothing to do with it. And just a little warning, uh, often being very poor or very rich, uh, if you say a few smart words, people will give extra credit to them. So if a, uh, a Jeff Bezos, a Sam Walton, a uh, one of the people with a lot of money uh, said something, and you read this quote, you're more likely to go, wow, that's really something else. Or if you heard somebody who, you know, maybe yeah, Mother Teresa was, yeah, let's not use her. Let's use a, a good person who is very poor, but isn't necessarily that smart. Uh, when they say something, let's not give them extra credence just because they have chosen to live a life of poverty. That doesn't add anything to an argument or, or boost it, give it any more credibility. Let's look at the actual truth of an issue and let's dig into it and go from there instead of appealing to this whole fallacy called argument to the purse.